So before we get started, and while I'm still getting ready, I'd like to take the chance to give out this disclaimer that this video is not sponsored. So all brands mentioned and all products featured today are not sponsored or whatsoever. Hey guys, welcome back to my art life. Jimmy here, and today I'm going to show you my latest art finds from two of my favorite stores. So my first haul is from my most favorite books and school supply store. Well, have you guessed what it is? Of course, it's no other than National Bookstore. I have a few interesting stuff in here that I will be showing to you later. And so for my second haul for today, this is from one of the newest stores from Japan that has a lot of cool stuff but at a very very affordable price. So for haul number two it's going to be from my newest favorite store Miniso. So without further ado let's go ahead and see what these are okay? So let's start off with Miniso. This is Miniso colored pen, 12 colors, and as you can see there, okay, and uh, it also says here that these are washable crayons, and you guys know how much I love aquarels, so w when I saw this, I just, you know, picked it up, and then when they ask, it's only 149 pesos, so this is a really good deal. I'm gonna open this right now, and, uh... Let's see how it looks like inside. Alright, and I really love that it's in a plastic casing. It has this ring up here, so you can tag it for storage. And the, the plastic is very sturdy, so it's going to protect the, the pens inside. This is awesome. I mean, 12 colors. Well, just 149. Oh, by the way, I got this from um, Miniso SM North Edsa. I'm just gonna show you one of them. Uh, let's get this red up here. So it looks like a regular pen, as you can see. So open it. Yeah. This is, this is awesome. It looks like a uh, crayon or or pastel crayons so the colors just uh, glides through it and as you can see very pigmented and it's washable with waters uh, it's an aquarelle that's a plus for me and it just twists twists the end and then it comes right up just like that all right mini so colored pens excited that this looks promising really so watch out for the uh, for my review and first impressions of this product okay don't forget to subscribe so you'll be the first one to know when I post the review for this mini so uh, aquarel crayon all right so let's get to other stuff in here oh by the way um, didn't you know that in mini so for three pieces of any combination, you can choose whatever, and it's it only would cost you 99 pesos. So, it, so it's going to be like only 33 pesos per piece. So since um, it's only 30 pesos, so I actually picked up a lot. I don't know if that's like too much. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> So, okay, okay, there's a lot. So for the uh, mini soap pens, uh, first set that I got here are these carbon tip pens. They have more colors than these, but I think I would just uh, try it first before I uh, buy the whole set. And I'm gonna show you the tip. That's how small the tip is. 
So like I mentioned, um, I will be uh, posting uh, my first impressions on these pens, so make sure that you are subscribed. And uh, these next sets, it says uh, washable watercolor pen. Alright, I think that looks better. Yeah. Okay, so I guess these are uh, paint pens. Alright, so let me show you um, what the tip looks like. I'm gonna open one of these. So let's go for this pink one right here. Alright, there we go. Okay, so it's a, it's a paint pen. Then you just have to go it, shake it, and then push it, and then the paint comes out right there at the tip. So I'm not gonna do that for now. So wait for my first impression uh, vlog for these pens. So the next set that I have there is um, the Miniso Aquarel brush. Well, this has two. And so the first one is a fine liner. There. And if you will check on the other end, the other end is the brush pen. So, can't wait to test these. So I have one in pink, and this one is in um, very, very light blue. Okay, I also picked up these markers. This is a uh, double-ended, so fine tip um, on this end. It's, it's a chisel broad tip for this end of the marker, right? Okay, so these are also double-ended. This is alcohol-based ink markers. So if you remember um, alcohol-based ink, like uh, like Copic markers, uh, alcohol-based markers are very expensive. But if you will think about it, this is, this is only for 33 pesos, and uh, that's very um, affordable. So I have one here in yellow green, and this one is in uh, turquoise blue. All right. I should stop. I don't know my hand. Yeah, I, usually when I go uh, in a store or a national bookstore and I see this whole lot of sets of pens and then I'm gonna pick one up and then when I open it I'm, I'm just gonna check out the tip and then I would just write on my hand. So I always just test the, the color and write on my hand. I don't know. I just, it's, it's just a habit whenever I see lots of pens and I want to test it. So yeah, excuse the hand. All right, and so I also got loads of these. These are Miso acrylic painter markers. It's got a lot of colors, and I do want to have like all of the colors on this. The colors I have here. So I have two silver pens right here. I got three gold, gold ones. I got two grays. I picked up two reds, and I'm just gonna show you the whole bunch of colors that I was able to get. So these are not all of it. Um, some of the colors weren't available. I tried to um, go to other uh, mini so stores, but I cannot find other colors. So. Mini so if you have other colors on your other stores, I want to have all of the colors for your um, mini so acrylic painter markers because I'm planning a, oops, I'm planning to an upcycle or recycling project using this mini so uh, acrylic painter markers. So this acrylic painter markers are really pigmented. I like that. Can you see that? So that's why I picked up all the colors that were available that day, because when I tested one of them, it's it has really good pigmentation and uh, it, it's a really good quality. And if you're gonna look at it, it's filled up to here. 
so there's a lot of paint in there and this would actually last to you for a, a very long time so for 33 pesos this is more than what you paid for quality wise and quantity wise yeah this the, 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 I can't find words to say anyway All right, so that's it for my mini so haul. So as you can see, what I got mostly are pens, and they're just awesome, amazing. All right, now it's time for us to move on to part two for today's haul, which is our national bookstore. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, get this opened up. So first, um, one that I got from National Bookstore are these crayons. These are crayons by um, Dong A. It is for 49.75 pesos, and uh, this is 24 colors. And this one is uh, Titus crayons. Uh, this is for 54.75 pesos. So also for 24 colors. And the last one that I have here is for um, is National Bookstore's very own product, uh, Best Buy, and uh, this is for 24 colors as well. So maybe you're thinking, what in the world am I doing with these crayons? I am planning to post a video about uh, tips and tricks that I do with crayons, and uh, I hope you do watch out for that because I'm going to be showing you a neat trick on uh, using crayons. I'm also going to be testing these out. I'm going to let you know which one I like the best. Uh, this is a Pentel uh, round brush and this is for 79.75 pesos and this is number 10. Right there. So you will be seeing me use this from time to time in um, in my watercoloring videos, especially when I'm um, gonna do some florals. Round brushes are perfect for making petals and floral wreaths for calligraphy, especially. Round brushes are the way to go. All right, so I'm just gonna put this back right here. Well, if you will remember from my other videos, I've been using a brush pen. Um, this is my favorite brand of brush pen. Um, this is a platinum brush pen. Uh, th these are the two that I got. The first two platinum brush pens that I got. Oh, this one is in purple and this one is in light, oops, light orange. This is only for 59 pesos each. So if you'll compare this to other brush pens out there, um, this is the most affordable. And what I like about it is that the tips are real brushes. The quality is really good for the price. And these are uh, my existing ones. And by the way guys, um, these are the old packaging. So when it first came out, it's just in this plastic packaging. So no, when I went to National Bookstore, I was able to find a whole lot of colors back here. It is. Okay, so these are the new packaging. So as you can see, it's now in a, in a blister pack with a, the cardboard backing. So if you compare it, this is the old packaging and this is the new packaging. Right. So these are the three colors I got. Um, this one is this one is like a grayish brown color. This one is pink, and this one is in a uh, rosy red. Platinum brush pens also came out with a new version, which looks like these. These are dual tip brush markers. These also come in the same price, 59 pesos each, and uh, it comes in a range of, I believe, 36 colors. So the ones with the real brush are only 20 colors, but 
these ones that come in felt tips are uh, 36 colors. So I'm going to open one of them and I'm going to show you what the tip looks like. So this is the brush pen tip, and this is felt tip. But the felt tips, um, I have to say, is um, very good quality. Um, it's flexible and springy. So the other end is a fine tip marker. So it's, I think it's maybe about um, 0 0.5. It's a really good deal for 59 pesos. Uh, you get two tips and the quality is excellent. So if you see this and you're into calligraphy, go ahead and, and uh, grab one of these. You, you won't be disappointed if you do. So they also released um, other types of pens. This is the uh, Platinum Signature. So I'll be also posting my uh, first impressions on these pens. This is also a brush pen, but it, it has a very fine tip. So it may look like uh, a fiber tipped uh, brush pen, but uh, the tip is very soft and flexible. Uh, this is the Platinum Signature brush pen. Alright, and the other one that I was able to get is this. This is the dual tip brush pen. So one end is so one end is a medium tip, and the other end is fine tip. So let's see here, and I'll show you. So it's got this really cool gold family design all over the pen. So this is the uh, medium tip. So this type of brush pen only comes in uh, black, it doesn't have any other color, right? And this is the other end. So this end um, is more like the uh, Platinum Signature brush pen. So if you want to have both, um, just buy this one, the dual tip brush pen. So you can have the signature. Uh, signature tip right here and then a brush pen right here just remember it has a uh, bamboo design and like I mentioned earlier I love watercolors as um, Best Buy watercolor so again Best Buy is National Bookstore's own brand so I want to try this out and see how good the quality is the surface of um, each color is shiny, uh, just like, uh, reminds me of Prang. So I got curious of uh, how good the quality is, so I bought one. And this is for 56 pesos, so you see there? You'll see that it is shiny. Uh, the Prang watercolors have a sticky um, feel to it. Let's see if this one also... Oh yeah, it is. It's tacky, just like the Prang watercolor. So, so I'm also going to be posting my first impression of the, uh, this watercolor by National Bookstore's Best Buy. I was, I also saw that there is a set that has more colors than this, but I opted to get this one for now. So the last item that I uh, got here from National Bookstore uh, is also a watercolor. If you remember in one of my vlogs, this is uh, when I attended the National Bookstore Art Camp. I mentioned there that I'll be adding this watercolor in my arsenal. So I was really looking to buy the, um, the Faber-Castell connector pink box, but when I was actually about to uh, buy it, I suddenly noticed this other uh, watercolor set by Faber-Castell. So instead of the connector paint box, I picked this one instead. It's almost the same price as the connector paint box, but this has way more colors and it has 21 colors. It has the same size palette and this cost 439 pesos. 
in National Bookstore. So let's see inside. I'm gonna open this up for you. So here it is. This is 21 colors. And it comes with two free brushes. It's on there. doesn't feel like uh, watercolors, it's like, it feels like solid plastic chips. So as always, I like to run my fingers on the surface to test if it would have um, color transfer. So for some colors, they, they, there was some transfer right there, and, but for some, they are not transferring. But when I tested out the uh, Faber-Castell connector paint box, I was really um, impressed with the quality. So I do hope that these have the same quality as the Faber-Castell connector paint box. And again, I will be posting my first impressions of this watercolor set very, very soon. Okay, so that's it for today's art supply haul. So as for the details of the uh, items that I showed you today, I will be putting that on the comment box below so you have a reference to it. And if you have any comments, suggestions, and also if there is an item in here that you want me to do a first impression video on, just let me know and uh, post it on the comment box below. And again, um, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you'll get notified whenever I post my first impression videos, especially on my videos where I let you in on tips and tricks and also for tutorials. So guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. So if you enjoyed the art supply haul, give me a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Again, my name is Jimmy and I'll see you on our next project.